I'd like to start this morning by thanking the local communities for the fantastic response that they have given us to our appeal for their help. Um, as you're well aware, there have been members of the community out all day yesterday and indeed last night as well, helping us with our search. And of course, we've also sought help on the um, national inquiry number that we have launched, 0300 200 0200. And again, we've had a good response to that number. I would, however, ask that people do um, continue to call us on that number. We are really keen to get all the help we can. And anybody who thinks they have any knowledge at all of Mikael's whereabouts or any information that relates to his disappearance, I would urge them to contact that number. Uh, just to get back to the local community, again, people are going to be keen, I know, to help us today, and I would thank them for that. What I would urge them to do is that we've um, got a premises that has uh, been loaned to us that they can turn up at the North Neighbourhood Centre at West Pilton Gardens. I would ask people if they want to help us today to come there at 10 o'clock this morning. It's cold, it's wet, it's likely to continue that way throughout the day, so please wear warm clothing, wear waterproof clothing, wear sturdy footwear, because obviously if you're there, then the search is likely to be helping us outside somewhere. I would like to stress that obviously all lines of inquiry in this uh, in the investigation remain open and we are pursuing many, many lines of inquiry. Um, I would stress again that I would ask anybody who has got any information to get in touch with us. Our police resources will be deployed throughout the day, many, many resources, many of which will be visible to you. We have specialist search teams, we have mounted officers, dogs, um, many people helping and of course many other emergency services and many other local organisations helping us in our search for Mikael. So I would just ask for continued vigilance for anybody who's waking up this morning. If you searched out buildings, gardens, garages, sheds yesterday, please do it again today because we still have not found Mikael and we still have no um, evidence of any criminality at this point. Again, I would stress we are very open-minded. We follow all lines of inquiry that are available to us but please help us with that search. Check your local premises, check your gardens, check your sheds, check your cars, check anywhere where a wee three-year-old who um, may have been out and about would find some shelter. We have been looking at CCTV. We've looked at many different CCTV um, images. We will continue to do so today. There is nothing significant come from that so far, but those inquiries will continue. It's obviously a very important line of inquiry for us. Mum is getting a lot of support from both the police, from her family, from her friends, but clearly she is very distraught. She just wants her little boy back home, as do Mikhail's brothers and sisters. So we are very concerned for her, uh, and we just want to be able to give her some news that will let her know that he is safe and well. We've had numerous calls through the helpline, in excess of 150 now. We have no confirmed sightings at this point in time. We have spoken to his father, yep. Uh, um, all of his family have been very, very helpful to the police. They continue to help us with their inquiries and obviously we are keen to get as much information as we can from them because we just never know um, who might hold that vital bit of information that will help us find them.